Hey guys, this is Kirk from Acid Byte, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our new Acid Byte titles in After Effects. So, to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Downloads folder. This is the folder you're going to receive when you download this pack from the website. And you'll see that there is, in the Assets folder, this text file, Fonts Bold Titles. And you need to go here and download each of these individual fonts, which are all free to use but you need to have these installed before the title designs are gonna work, okay? So I've already got all of the fonts installed, so I'm going to jump ahead into the After Effects folder. And here you can see that we have both vertical and horizontal versions of the designs, and they were all made originally in 4K, but of course you can use them in an HD timeline. So I'll just jump into the horizontal folder and I'll grab this first project as our example for today. So as soon as the project opens up, you can see that the entire design is here with a transparent background. Um, you have all of your text and icon layers here, and of course you can manipulate those as much as you want. So uh, depending on how familiar you are with After Effects, you can go into your layer settings and there's a lot of manipulations that you can do there. But to make this a little easier, I'd say go to Window and open up the Essential Graphics panel. And in the Essential Graphics, I think you're going to find most of the important text settings that you're going to want to play with when designing these titles. So from here, you can edit the text, of course. So I'll just type Acid Byte. You can adjust the font, uh, pick whatever you like. Uh, you can even change the color. You can change the size of the text. Um, basically anything you can think of, this is where you'll change it. Some of our other designs actually come with like text boxes and different design elements, and you'll be able to adjust those from this panel as well. And if there's any element that you don't like, like a certain icon or whatever, you can just turn down the opacity or of course turn off the, the layer itself. So yeah, I think it's all very easy and straightforward. Um, can manipulate these however you want. We think that they are pretty cool the way they come, but we're looking forward to seeing what you guys do with them. And as always, thank you for downloading, thank you for watching, and see you next time.